Okay, I'm going to show you how I wound the uh, 49 to 1 auto transformer. And uh, this is the one that uses a tap on the second turn. It has uh, two primary windings and 13 secondary windings. And I want to show the detail of how it's wound. First of all, we'll start at the beginning here. And this is the ground on the SO239 right here. And um, as you can see, it comes around and goes underneath and goes through the center. And then it comes up right here. And then it goes down the outside again. And down through the center again. And that passes through the inside. Comes up right here. And that is two turns. Count the inside wires. One and so the end of the second turn would be around right here so you could actually connect your tap anywhere from here on around down the front it's not critical and what I did was put a, a drill bit a quarter inch drill bit underneath the, the wire as I was winding it and that uh, that made a little bump and then when I got done I took a screwdriver and just kind of pried it up a little bit let me see if I can show you some more detail on that tap and uh, I took a razor knife and got behind it and around it and scraped off all of the uh, insulation and then I took a short piece of wire scraped it off bent a loop around the connection and soldered it that's an important connection and then that of course goes to the center pin of the SO239 and there's my 100 picofarad capacitor that goes across the coax connector. Well then after we make the tap we continue around and um, see that's one, two, three, four, five, six and we go down the outside here and then come back up around the bottom here and this is where our this is our crossover point right here and we go right straight across and come back up right here and start making more windings around until we get to 13 and then there is our end point that goes to the antenna right here I found that I get my lowest SWR on on the high bands especially on 10 meters by making this crossover come very close as you can see it's very close to the core it's very close to those first six windings and then starts directly after that and I found that by uh, making these a little bit loose and then I slid them back and forth and I found that with with this section closer to this to the starting point actually the ground that I got my lowest SWR on 10 meters
and I know it's tempting to, to want to run your crossover over uh, across totally across the core and start a new winding and it looks neat but for some reason this seems to to work better now these are 43 mix cores I'm using 52 mix right now as a matter of fact I'm using four uh, 32 mix or 52 mix cores and uh, that gives you more power handling capability 52 mix, four stack cores, and I can run 500 watts uh, CW forever, it seems. Finally came up with the, the magic solution. <laughs> so, turn around here so we can see it. Hope that, uh, I hope the detail is good enough that everybody can see how I wound it. <laughs> 